welcome back to my channel my name is Jeannie today I'd like to sh uh, give you guys a quick tutorial on how to make this Bath & Body Works candle holder for Valentine's Day or it could be for anything um, literally if you use a different kind of yarn you could actually um, make this into like a bowl that sits on your t uh, counter uh, I apologize I didn't clean up yet I still have a lot of tails to weave in but you have an idea but isn't this so adorable? You can use whatever color combinations you want. Today I'll do just the pink and white. Um, this one I have three different colors. But I just thought this is so adorable and it fits any um, three wick candle from Bath & Body Works. It's so pretty. Anyways, if you guys are interested in learning how I created this, then continue watching. For supplies, you'll need... A combination of two to three different colors if you want you can just stick with one color don't do any color changes that's also very pretty but I wanted to make it Valentine's themed so I'm gonna do pink and white and uh, the pink I'm using the line brand Heartland yarn and this is in the color capital reef it's a very pretty uh, yarn medium uh, for uh, worsted weight yarn and this is a white from the Hobby Lobby brand um, I love this yarn in white uh, today I'll be using the 5mm uh, hook, it's the H hook. You'll need one of these tapestry needles uh, to weave in the ends, and of course a pair of scissors. Okay, let's begin. Alright, to begin, I'm starting off with the color white. And let's go ahead and make a magic circle. Here's the tail. I'm going to cross it over using my hook underneath and grab that yarn and pull up. I just pinched the top right here. Okay, this is your circle. We'll be um, making 12 double crochet into the circle. I'm going to do a chain two. This chain two does not count as a double crochet, but let's go ahead and start. I'm going to make this circle a little bit smaller by grabbing that tail and pulling it. So I chain two, I'm going to yarn over and make my first double crochet. Okay, that's one. I'm gonna make 11 more. And we're going to grab that tail and pull it tight to close up the hole, okay? And then we're going to slip stitch uh, to the top of the first double crochet. All right, this is the bottom. So we're going to um, increase, we're going to chain two, and that does not count as a double crochet. And then we're going to make two double crochet into each stitch. So that's one, into that same stitch, two, and then continue along. We'll have a total of 24 double crochet in this row. Okay, that's 24, completing my last double crochet there. Okay, that's 24, and then we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet. Okay, we're doing one more row of increasing so that it will fit at the bottom here. So one more row. Gonna chain two. That does not count as a double crochet. We're going to um, put one double crochet into that first stitch. Okay. And then two double crochet into the next stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. And then two in the next.
we're going to alternate between uh, one and two double crochet all along and you'll end up with two double crochet stitches here and then we're going to slip stitch to complete this row all right i'll come back and meet you there and there should be a total of 36 uh, double crochets okay i'm on my last stitch two double crochet here all right to finish off this row slip stitch to the top of uh, that first double crochet okay all right so this is the bottom of the candle it looks small but don't worry it will stretch so now we're going to chain one and we're going to um, make one single crochet in the back loop only all the way around so there should be 36 single crochet back loop only so chain one in the back loop of each stitch please make a single crochet this will help fold up this way because that's what we want to do that's four Thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, and thirty-six. All right. Now we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet, and that completes that row. Okay. This is how it should look so far. It should be folding up. Now we're going to make one more round of single crochet, and then we'll be changing over. Um, to the second color and now we're going to make single crochet all the way around and it's just going to be through um, the same uh, stitches okay both both uh, both loops okay my last stitch Okay, that's 36. So now I'm going to take my second color. Okay, this is how I introduced the second color. So that row, I just completed my last single crochet. I'm going to go ahead and put my hook through the top of the first single crochet. And instead of grabbing this white one to do a slip stitch, I'm going to grab the pink yarn, the second one, second color and complete it as if I'm um, doing a slip stitch. And then at this point, I go ahead and just snip off the white yarn, the working white yarn, and just tie a quick knot. Okay. So there you go. This is how you introduce the second color. So I'm going to pull up what we're going to do is we're gonna make uh, uh, basically a uh, heart puffer uh, design okay so I'm gonna make a puff stitch one puff stitch first so I pulled up yarn over and it's the same stitch but below here pull up you have three loops on your hook yarn over go through the same stitch pull up we got five I'm going to do it one more time, yarn over, pull up. You should have seven loops on your hook now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay? And to complete that, yarn over, pull through, and then chain two, okay? And in the same stitch below, we're going to uh, make one more puff stitch, okay? And that will make it a heart shape. Okay, there should be seven loops on here. One, two, three, six, seven. Okay, yarn over and pull through. And 
uh, yarn over pull through just to uh, complete that and close it out so that's one puffer stitch next thing is we're going to step skip two stitches at the bottom one two and do another puffer stitch okay um just to, to let you guys know i yarn over and go ahead and pull up yarn over put through again pull up okay and then complete your puffer stitch chain one and chain two so there should be two chains in between and one more puffer stitch one two three okay chain one and that closes that out all right this is what we're going to continue to do down the line so skip two chains make the heart puffer stitch again Chain two, puffer stitch again, yarn over, pull through all, and chain one to close it out. Skip two, are you saying it puffer stitch or puff stitch? Oh, I don't know, but you know the gist. <laughs> all right, I'm going to continue on. And I'll meet you back uh, uh, over here, okay? Okay, chain one. All right. Now I'm going to change back to white again. So what we're going to do is I'm going to stick my hook through the top of that first puff stitch. Okay, and then instead of, you know, completing it through by pulling on the pink yarn, I'm going to pull through the white one now to change colors. Pull through. And I'll go ahead and cut the pink working yarn. And then just quickly make a knot with the tail end of my new white yarn that I just introduced and the pink one. Make a quick knot. All right. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, chain one, and in this space between the two heart stitches, I'm going to make one um, single crochet. Then two single crochet into the chain two space between the puff stitches, okay? Two, three, and then one between the two heart stitches. Four, then two in between. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Okay, last two single crochets. That will be 36. Okay, and now just uh, slip stitch into the top of that first single crochet. And that row is complete. But this is how it's starting to look. Isn't it so cute? I love it. I think I'm just going to stick with the same color. Unless uh, you guys want, you guys can change it to a different color after this. Like to make a row of these um, heart puff stitches. You know, you can make it into like a, I guess change it to like a hot pink. You know, kind of make a gradient color. But uh, we're doing one more row of single crochet. Now again, it will be um, six, 36 um, single crochet for this row, okay? Ok, 
35 and 36. Okay, so now this is where I'm going to change out my yarn color again. So in the same fashion, I'm going to put my hook through the top of that first single crochet. Okay, and drop the white. And then reintroduce the pink. I'm going to do a slip stitch. Okay. Okay, I'm going to cut out the white. And just tie a quick knot. Alright, there we go. We're going to pull up just like before and um, do our first heart uh, puff stitch, okay? So yarn over. One, two, and three. Yarn over, pull through all, chain two. And then in the same stitch below, complete your next puff stitch. All right, continue along the way and I'll come back and show you uh, the rest of the steps, okay? Okay, chain one to close that out. And now same thing, we're going to change out the color again to white. So I'm going to put my hook through the top of that first puff stitch. Okay. And then reintroduce my white color yarn. By doing a slip stitch. Grab that yarn. Pull through and pull through. Cutting my pink yarn. Okay, chain one, and in that same stitch here, make a single crochet, and then two single crochet into the chain two space, and then one single crochet here between the two heart puff stitches, and then two in the middle, and then one, and then two. Okay, done with single crochets there. Slip stitch to complete that row. Chain one and continue on with another row, single crochet. One. Again, you'll have a total of 36 single crochet in this row. Okay, this is the final row, final uh, single crochet, and I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet. Okay, so at this point, you are pretty much done. I am going to show you um, how to make this last row, and I just decided to do um, kind of like a fan stitch. Like kind of, it looks kind of scalloped. I'm gonna stick with white. But if you want, you can change it out to um, that pink color or whatever color you want to finish it out. I'm just going to stick with white. So, of course, you know, um, if you are going to change it to the pink, go ahead and, you know, um, do the same technique by, um, you know, changing out the color. But since I'm going to stick with white, I'm just going to do a um, single crochet here. So chain one, single crochet. Okay. Yarn, uh, yarn over. We're going to skip two chains at the bottom and then we're going to do a fan stitch. So we're going to make um, five double crochet into this chain right here. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, 
I'm going to skip two and then make one single crochet to that stitch. Okay, skip two, yarn over, and do another um, fan stitch there. So that's five double crochets. Skip two and then single crochet. Skip two and five double crochet to that stitch here. Okay, and skip two, and then on the top of this single crochet, go ahead and slip stitch. Alright, we are done. Isn't this adorable? I love it. Okay, go ahead and snip off your yarn and tie off. Okay, this is so pretty. I love it. I love these colors together perfect for Valentine's Day but now the part, the part I don't like the, uh, is you know the cleanup part so go ahead and start weaving in your tails okay I think we are done now the only thing we need to do is find the candle and see if it fits this should stretch so no problem at all And here we go. Oh my goodness, this is so adorable. I love it. Okay, I made it a little bit shorter than uh, this one. I did use one uh, uh, hook size larger with this one, but I think I prefer this one because it does give you um, a little space right here, kind of have a peekaboo uh, of what the candle uh, looks like. But this is so adorable. Oh my gosh, I love it. And then, of course, without the candle, you could use this as a jewelry holder, scrunchies. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but this makes an excellent bowl. Especially if you um, use like a sturdier yarn, like um, those t-shirt yarns. They would be terrific as decor for around your home. I might have to do something like that. Because I can always use, you know, little baskets like this here and there to put items in. But anyways, if you guys enjoy this video, uh, please give my video a thumbs up. And also subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day everyone.